friends, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. We have our hero here in Old Gridania, um, gathering quests and getting ready to move out and about. I have never played Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. I have played Final Fantasies all over the place. Um, I'm just new to this particular one, so we'll explore this together. You got discerning eyes, miss. The craftsmanship truly something, ain't it perfect? For securing any manner of parsimontral gods, if I never hear that name again, will be too soon. And there I was thinking I might make a guild today. Here, take the damn bramble weed rope and bugger off. Okay. We got the length of the rope. Okay, let's go outside. Check mark down here. My last video was really long, so this one will be quite a bit shorter. At least I hope it will be. terribly busy right now would you and would thank you not to bother me I'm a carpenter of the prestigious oak atrium and I have repairs to gasp where did I put my oh god I er I take it you're from the guild too then what's that Adele sent you w with my tools ah uh, ah uh, yes I was actually just about to go and um <clears throat> this is so embarrassing my apologies it's been t it's just i've been so focused on the task at hand you know it's a miracle this amphitheater even survived the calamity it was the carpenter's guild that saved it moving it piece by piece and rebuilding it when i saw what they had done for gerdania i knew what i wanted to be but gods when they told me i had my first task was to come here. Anyways, thank you for bringing my tools. You are new to the Oak Atrium too, right? Well, let's both p work together for the good of the guild, eh? Oh, and may the elements watch over you and keep you safe. Okay, we'll complete this task. Got a couple of new tasks here. Okay, let's accept this one. You there, adventurer, could you deliver a message for me? My superior Millicent is stationed outside Atelier Fenil. She is doubtless busy, but I'm past due to be relieved. Long past due, to truth be told. However, I simply, however, I can't simply abandon my post. Speak to her for me, would you? But choose your words wisely. She has a bit of a temper. good at, uh, you know, calming down irate people. Greetings, traveler. Come to see Miketo's famed amphitheater, have you? I am Estain, caretaker of this fine centerpiece of Gridanian culture, and I fear I must trouble you for your assistance. You see, it is only well-meaning women like yourself that are drawn to this place. The Sliffs often visit here in the dead of night long after our citizens have gone to bed. We have no particular objection to their presence and they seem grateful for the accommodation, so much so, in fact, that last night they left us a token of their appreciation in the form of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. 
and their generosity is more than welcome, of course, but the sheer quantity of things makes gathering them all sort something of a chore, and it it's not as if I don't have enough to deal with already. I'd be most grateful for any help you could give me. Okay, I can do that. Oh, let's go attune myself to a crystal. I haven't been doing that. Okay. You have now access to the internet. Yeah. Okay, let's go on back. What's all this about? Dolman san says he needs a break? The nerve of that sniveling little shite crawling, crying for relief at a time like this. Has he forgotten how shorthanded we are since that business with the ex all the other day? And sending a bleedy unknown venturer to do his bleat no less? The self-servant sod thinks only of his own woes, rubbing his sore souls while welcoming all manner of glib graven ventures into our holy wood. Useless bloody fool. Makes me blood boil, it does. Ah, uh, but it's not you I should be given a piece of my mind to. You seem to be a decent sort, cons considering still understand that it is our duty to keep an eye on every stranger that passes through these parts. Any rude road, I appreciate you lending an ear to my subordinate, damn fool that he is. Go then and stay out of trouble. I just love being caught in the middle of... I just love being caught in the middle of rivalries makes for fun days. I have to say, this game is really beautiful. Let's see, is there anything in here? Video. No. Okay, so we need to go around this side. ourselves. Got to make sure we can do those. Okay, good. Now then, let's go back into the shop, progress our quest. It looks like they need to be progressed. Here he is, Girth said. Sorry, lass, we ain't open yet. Oh, one of Parsimons. Well, well, and what did, what was it you said you wanted? A bone spearhead? Ah, uh, here, here she is. Take it and tell the bastard we're square. Welcome, welcome. Hmm, at the behest of good master Postronotre, you say? What do we owe the pleasure of your company today, my lady? Ah, may I take this opportunity to say it's an honor and a privilege to serve you. But you must have your beeswax oil without delay. Yes, yes, feel free to take as much as you require. And you will, of course, inform Master Pars Montre that you were that I was only too happy to accommodate his needs, yes? have a sneaking suspicion that the guild mat the, the market master is something of a thug the way people are all trying to stay stay on his good side. Okay, oh, here's another 
crystal. Let's attune myself to this crystal. What business have you with me, adventurer? You come upon the bidding of Master Parsmontre? So soon, I'm impressed. I placed my order only a short time ago, yet here are all the items I requested. Truly, Master Parsmontre, is every bit as resourceful as they say. Likely he's a bully. You are fortunate to work under such a man. You would do well to mold yourself in his image if you have any aspirations as a merchant. Report to Monet at the Caroline. Ah, a fresh-faced adventurer, the very manner of person that I had wished to meet. The Lancer's Guild is looking for someone to track down and exterminate a half a dozen squirrels. The infernal pests have been squeezing in under our floorboards ev every E for the past several moons and gnawing away at the support pillars. They have yet to inflict serious structural damage, thank the Builder. But I hesitate to bring such a trifling matter before the wood whalers or God's quiver, hence my delight at your timely arrival. Why an adventurer who could dispatch such woodland nuisances is not worthy of the name, not here in Gardania at any rate. And you know what becomes of incapable adventurers? Ah, uh, perhaps it is best you do not. The squirrels for which I can speak of can be found in the central shroud, Report to me once you have disposed of them, assuming the task is not beyond you. For your sake, I certainly hope it is not. Okay. We can do that. The car line canopy. Let's quit. I'm going to take a look at the map. So let's go to the Aether Plaza. Conquer the Conquering Hero returns. You have completed my little tasks, I trust. The three locations you visited will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer. You'd best grow familiar with them as soon as possible. You took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial they may be seen. I am thankful you are an obliging sort, Leiko. It is, it, it is adventurers like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. 
I pray Gridania can rely on your aid and it, in its struggles to come. Okay, we'll complete this. Need to be level four. Okay, so ground squirrels okay so there's one more in old Gridania so we will That last one in Old Gridania. Okay. I like my keep my maps short, smaller. Makes it easier to get around. There are times that big maps are useful. Okay. So we need to gather vegetable offerings. Oh, that's right. Such a beautiful game. recording more videos and I'm going to be recording some um, zombie side for tabletop gaming videos at least I hope I will okay let's see what she has to say well done friend Miketo herself would sing your praise she knew well the power of art and how it could strengthen the soul of a nation and preserve history for future generations. This amphitheater was her greatest gift to Gridania, and it is her wish for all folk to use it freely, not only for performances and festivals, but as a place to share memories and make new ones. I wonder if the Sliffs came, come here to do just that. That said, I do wish they would find other ways to express their gratitude. We have no need of vegetables here, and mayhap Carline Canopy can make use of them. Anyways, thanks be to the elements for bringing you here today. Okay. Let us. Now we're going to go out and shoot some squirrels and ladybugs and fun forest fungus and in general uh, be an ecological disaster. Hang on, there's a 
there's another quest here. Crunch, 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 grind, spit, what the, this isn't a, I must have mistaken this metal bit for a nut while I was out foraging food in the forest, a spare snaffle misplaced by some sorry soul for tree speak stables, I suspect it was vaguely in their vague vicinity, that I amass the majority of my mastic masticable morsels. Well, I've already burp, had a hefty helping of these nuts, so I won't be walking for a while. Might I trouble you to take these to the tree speak stables in my stead? Prior to parting, pray speak with Barnab Barnat at the Yellow Serpent Gate. Listen to well to his dis directions or you're liable to get lost. Okay. That sounds sensible. Okay, let's go out and lot of time going back and forth between them. I, I haven't yet gotten the cue on getting all the quest hubs. Okay, let's see where we're going. Oh, look at there, all these quests. More and more quests. Let's, once I finish gathering up these quests. You there, you are an adventurer, yes? Good, I have a task for you. Take yourself over to the Conjurer's Guild and speak with my student, Raya. She has her hands full preparing for auguries and would welcome your assistance. In her excitement at becoming a Conjurer, I fear my young disciple is pushing herself beyond limits of her endurance. Enthusiasm is all well and good, but do not, but it would not do to have the initial collapse from exhaustion. up here. Okay. Rate, rate is 60. Stop right there, not another step. I apologize if I have startled you, but please be careful. The ground here is covered with rose hips. You see, my seed pouch has grown so threadbare that it finally split open. Unbeknownst to myself, I've been scattering azima rose hips all along this road. Oh, good madam, if you would help me gather them up, I would be ever so grateful. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you. Your kindness is truly a blessing from the elementals. The rose hips should be lying on the road between here and the great loam growery. Please tread lightly lest you crush them underfoot. Okay, I can do that. Okay.
wish this was more of an open world. God damn it, another adventurer. You're like flies on muck. Whatever Gridania did to deserve such a pl plague, I don't know, Smith. Sigh. I suppose times are a-changing and they keep telling me I should perhaps... Should, and perhaps you might be. Oh, gods help me. Just take this Azima Rose to Waldu of... S Waldu of still great fame, will you? Well, what are you standing for? Go deliver the bloody rose. Yeah. They're not very grateful to us adventurers, are they? Okay, map. Let's see. Okay, so we've got all the rose hips for what's his name? I guess I'm not going to be going out and hunting squirrels this episode because I'm still busy doing tasks in old and new gardenia. Good madam, pray tell me you recovered all the rose hips and I abandoned not one to the traveler's boot. Blessings upon you. I feared this path would be lined with roses next year. Not that such a wondrous sight would be wholly objectionable, but Azima roses are ill-suited to this location. A bot as a botanist, it is my responsibility to see Gridania's plants grow and thrive in the most ideal conditions. A place for every seed and every seed in its place, you might say. Twas most gracious of you to aid me in my time of need. I pray that the elementals extend you the same kindness. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, you received your first achievements. Achievements are earned by, by reaching certain milestones during your adventure in Erosia. And here are our activities from leveling class, covering our locations, and defeating enemies and earning gil. There are also rewards granted for attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons, others titles, which can be added to your display. The achievement awards claimed from Jonathan's in Old Gridania. Okay, so now let us go down here. Because I don't want to go to North Gridania until I'm done with Central Gridania. Okay, let's see what this chap has to say. On an errand for that glutton Lalafell, I pass this gate to the west, you'll find the tree speak stables. Hmm, if memory serves, that iron snaffle of yours looks kind of looks like the kind that they use in Chocobo bridles. Bodwan would be a fine would be the fellow to ask about that, of course. He looks after the Chocobas there, you see. It could be well that he has need of that snaffle. And as you can see, I now have a quest in North Staddle. On the Northern Shop. Okay, so let's go down here. There's another Aethernet to attune my 
myself to. I know I've said it before, but it is kind of amusing that the music hasn't changed in 20 years. Welcome, adventurer, to the Conjurer's Guild. Here we commune with elementals and heed their guidance. Yet, I must confess, the elementals did not whisper of your coming. Ah, we did indeed request an Azima road from Ethelred, but you should bring it to us in his. St but that you should bring it to us in his stead means that something wonderful has happened. Ethelred has long held a grudge against many adventurers who have passed through Gridania's gates. His beloved flowers are renowned for their beauty, you see, and they and were once so highly coveted by Uldan collectors that they were picked nigh to extinction by fortune-seeking foreigners. Yet if it is peace we desire, we must all look beyond mistrust born of the past and overcome our prejudices. So has the Elder Seed Seer taught us, and so we do live. I doubt it was easy for Ethelred to entrust his Azima Rose to you when he hears we have received it he will come to know that not all outsiders are deserving of scorn truly it was by the will of the elementals that you came to us this day please accept this token of our gratitude okay do that. let's take a look at the map and i gained a new skill Nothing here. So let's head on back to New Britannia to meet Aethel. Okay. Hey girl, you seem unoccupied. You know the Bangkok, Bannock? I fancy taking a bag of provisions over there for me. It's not too heavy, mostly filled with dried meats and other bland rations. It's a straightforward job that I do with a smile and a spring in my step if I were 10 years younger. Alas, my tastes have matured, evolved, advanced to a higher level, you might even say. But it's the perfect little task for someone fresh-faced like you. Worry not, you'll receive appropriate compensation upon delivery, which you may keep with my blessing. Have you finished? Have you visited Bainok with your wanderings? It's a training gown found just outside the city where soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters. I mention this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is the instructor there, and I think you could be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there is anything you can do to help. Mind you, do not stray far from the path. Twelvewood is no place for merry strolls through the underbrush. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I am going to go out and hunt some squirrels, which I haven't done for a while.
that music has not changed. It's gotten a little bit more elaborate as the years go on. No more squirrels. Okay. Ground squirrel. Known I need to have fungus of some kind. There it is. Yeah, I thought I needed to have fungus. a few more mushrooms you know I worry about a world where the mushrooms attack you get up and walk you know all that fun stuff Let us go down to this
Greetings, Lekate Leko Kirinov. Myunin sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I am responsible for training our twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering for your assistance. The Twelve's Wood is much changed since the calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider, the Twelves Wood is ailing its once rich variety a fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is, sa is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer th to aid them in their struggle. Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elements bless your endeavors, Leiko Kirinov. Okay. Fate is short for full active time event. These public quests occur periodically in real time around Erosia. Anyone can participate by simply showing up before one ends. When you sense a fate nearby, a message will appear on your screen and the location will be displayed on your map. The type of fate in progress can be identified by its map icon. M mousing over the icon will display the fate title. You will automatically join a fate the moment you cross an event. This, at this time, the fate title, objectives, and time remaining will appear in your duty list. If you are several levels higher than the recommended level, a level sync button will appear on your duty list. Press the button to automatically lower your level so that you mar may participate and receive rewards. Okay, that's interesting. Experience points. In the event of multiple solo players attack the same target, the player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience points. The player who followed will be rewarded based on their contributions into the battle. If you see a fellow player in need of a hand, do not hesitate to lend yours. An item you have equipped is now bond to you and can no longer be traded or put up for sale in the markets. Most items can be sold or traded. This is true regardless of whether or not they have been equipped. However, performing one of these three actions, equipping a new piece of gear, will bind the item to you, preventing future trade or sale and prevent and other players. NPC shops will still purchase bound items. Right-click on a target to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Approach the target and start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you are currently attacking. Various actions. Okay, well, I'm not going to read this. Okay, let's see what this lady has to say. Delivery, eh? You certain you weren't followed? Yes, this is what I requested. Strange, I was expecting someone with rather more experience. I usually bulk at south, such outrageous payments prior to delivery. Honestly, I'm amazed you make it this far. These woods are teeming with anots and other nasties looking for a quick meal for the unprepared. I recommend your... I commend your bravery and thank you for your trouble. Here, take the remainder of the fee. I should be very happy to employ you. A Wait, did you see that? It looked like an, an enol. Quickly, go before you bring it here and get us all killed. Okay. This guy. Ho there, adventurer. If it's work you seek, then look no further. Instructor... Maristol needs a volunteer to bring him some bog yarzon shells for the recruits to practice on. You'll find yarzons in the river south of here. 
Once you've pried the carapaces from four creatures, take them to the instructor. Well, this looks like a good spot in today's today's let's play Lotro. Oh, let's grab him. I see you eager to leave a hand, lend a hand, Laco. That is well, but I cannot in good conscience send you into the forest until I have established your equipment is equal to the task. It bears repeating that in five years since the dawn of the seventh umbral era, many of Twelveswood's creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing into the forest without the proper gear is tantamount to suicide. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment once you deem your armor to be of sufficient quality present yourself to me for inspection okay level five or higher gear okay well this seems like a good place to start stop for the day i need to take a look at my equipment and and see how things are going. Got Jacobo, I don't have very much equipment. Let's take a look at my character. Ring of Fidelity. We'll equip that. Um, anything else? Nope. Okay, we need more equipment. I, this seems like a good place to stop. Tomorrow, in the next episode, we shall further explore Central Shroud, maybe return to Gardenia and return some of these quests, move on, see what else is happening. Anyways, this is Valkyrie Gamer wishing you all a happy day. Um, don't forget to visit my site, victorialynnosborne.com slash writer's blog to read about my latest books and to see what is coming out or my publishing house at Azure Spider Publications. I hope I see you again and if you like this subscribe to the video. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.